tell you a story about one of us. Today you'll learn all about the wolf. Noise, Granny has a high fever. I'll be right back. You have a fever? Let me see how hot you are. Just a slight fever. You mustn't worry. Then we can play with the ball you gave me. I'd love to, but not today. <laughs> I'm going outside to play. <laughs> <laughs> oh. There's no need to scream like that. <laughs> okay, mommy. <laughs> Will you stop that playing a second? I need your help. Look, mommy. Look. <laughs> Listen to me, Boo Boo. <laughs> Will you pay attention to me? I'm listening, Mommy. <laughs> you must go immediately to Dr. Goat's office. Your grandmother is very ill. She has a high fever and a bad cough. Did you hear me, Boo Boo? Yes, I heard you, Mommy. <laughs> what happened to you? Oh, my behind. Let me I see. Hurt myself. There we go. It's not my ready. shoe. Where's my shoe? Oh, you'll be the death of me. Now, where is it? I don't know, Mommy. Perhaps it's over there in the trees. I can't see it anywhere. Oh, wait a minute. I'll get you one of Granny's. But I have to take one of your shoes for Boo Boo. <laughs> there. Now off you go. What? Huh? But that will never fit me. Don't make such a fuss. Give me your foot. <laughs> there you go. Now, run along. Off you go. Hurry. Don't waste time. Granny isn't well. How can I hurry? I can't even walk. Thank <laughs> you. 
something, I want you to do it without any questions. Now run along to the doctor's office. Hmm. What's wrong now? What are you doing, Boo Boo? I have a stone in my shoe. Stop wasting time and remember, go straight to the doctor's office. I'm going, I'm going. Looks like a storm going. to look for Boo Boo, Mother. I'm back, Mommy. Just as well. I was coming to look for you. I was bringing you and the doctor an umbrella so you wouldn't get wet. But where is the doctor? He's not here, Mommy. It was raining so much, I had to find shelter under a tree. There was lightning. It was too dangerous to go on any longer. Boo 
Bobo. You disobeyed me again. Now what am I going to do with you? I didn't mean to, Mommy. Granny is very sick. I'm at Don't my wit's end. <laughs> Uh, poor soul. You stay here at Granny's side. I'll go and look for the doctor. You should be ashamed of yourself. I can't rely on you at all, can I? Wait, wait, I'll go! Oh, please be careful, Boo Boo, and come back with the doctor as soon as possible. He's afraid the sun will fall on his head. <laughs> I'm gonna bust the gut laughing. <laughs> What's so funny, huh? <laughs> Stones? They keep laughing at me and teasing me. What do you expect if you go around with an umbrella when the sun's shining? <laughs> well, it is a bit unusual, I must say. Were you going anywhere special? I'm going to Dr. Goat's. My granny has a high fever and a bad cough. Oh. Dr. Goat was about to close the surgery. I was there just now to get this medicine. Huh? You better hurry if you want to get there in time. Listen, I have some medicine here. It'll do the trick immediately. It'll lower your granny's fever and give her strength. Now, I gotta be on my way. You get going and make sure she drinks it all. I'll be right there. Uh, where's Bobo? I can't hear him play anymore. He's gone to call Dr. Goat. They'll be here soon. Don't worry. Get going, I said. I have an urgent visit to make, and then I'll come to your granny straight away. Oh! 
what's up? I fell in the river, but I found the doctor, and he gave me the medicine for my granny. You see? Well, what are you doing here, then? Waiting for my clothes to dry. Well, we could do some fishing while you wait. Huh? Come on, look what I got already. Uh-uh, I can't. What do you mean, huh? Well, because I promised my mommy I'd go straight home. But you stopped to rest instead of running home with the medicine. Yes, I know, but she'll never find out. <laughs> mm. She has very high fever. I'm afraid she's caught pneumonia. What's to be done, Doctor? Tell me. There's not much we can do. If she'd taken the medicine, her fever would have gone down. But now the situation's out of hand. <gasps> the only solution is to take her to the hospital. Oh. I'll call the ambulance. <laughs> Are you always so distracted? You've got your shoes on the wrong feet. Silly me. <laughs> Wait a second. Here. I thought of giving you this fish so you could take it to your granny. <laughs> wow, thank you. Now. Here comes the ambulance in the nick of time, I'd say. Take her to the hospital. I'll be right there. This will help Granny get better. <laughs> Thank you. Now I feel better. <laughs> oh, no! It's all your fault. If something bad happens to Granny, it will be all to disobedient children. Let's hope Baby's learned his lesson. The Wolf How is the wolf classified in the animal kingdom? The wolf belongs to the order of carnivores, to the Canidae family and to the Canis lupus species. They have slender muscular bodies and a long hairy tail. They vary in color but are generally from gray to reddish brown. How many species are there, and where do they live? All wolves belong to one species, Canis lupus, which is spread together with a number of subspecies throughout Asia, North America, and Europe. Wolves usually prefer to live in forests, both in mountainous regions and in the lowlands. How do they live? Wolves are social and territorial animals. They live in small packs characterized by a very rigid social structure headed by one male and one female who dominate all the others. How do they move? 
The dwarf moves most comfortably at a trot. At this pace, it can easily cover distances of between 10 and 20 kilometers a day. What do they eat? Basically, wolves eat the larger herbivores, such as deer and caribou, but they also eat small mammals, rabbits and squirrels, for example. If hunting is poor, wolves will feed off berries and other fruit. How do they protect themselves? Wolves have no natural enemies, and if you discount fighting within the pack, there are very few occasions in which the wolf has to defend itself. How do they relate to people? Very badly. Ever since prehistory, man has hunted wolves, and for centuries they were thought to be evil. The big bad wolf of the fairy tales. For the past few years, great efforts have been made to rehabilitate the wolf's image and to save it from extinction. Can they live in the city? No, they can't, but in winter they often move quite close to human settlements in search of food. Well, have you all learned a lesson? <laughs> the moral of the story is that when you don't do as you're told, you can live to regret it. <laughs> oh, look who's coming! <laughs>